Okay, it's gotten windy. So anyway, I wanted to tell a story about um, this plaque. Um, this is, um, Ken made this plaque. Ken, you know, my boyfriend, my first serious boyfriend, Ken, um, who I was also engaged to, um, he, he made this plaque, you know, this Bouvier head and everything, the whole plaque and everything. There's a whole story that goes with this. Um, the, um, uh, I was the trophy chair for the Southern California Bouvier de Flanders Club. Um, and um, at one time for uh, some years, actually probably about five years or so, uh, I was the trophy chair. And um, one of the members, um, Robert Stevens, you know, he was uh, probably, a, I think, a founding member of the club. He passed away, you know, he passed away kind of on the younger side. It's like uh, back, uh, I don't know what year it would have been, but um, let's see, I, I joined the club probably in 78. So I think he probably died in the, sometime in the 1980s. Anyway, it's like what they did is like, um, actually, um, he probably passed away in 1984. I can tell you that, you know, that's probably when he passed away. Anyway, so it's in memory of, uh, anyway, uh, 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 Ken was very, very uh, artistic, you know, and he, um, he was always carving things and he made a lot of things in high school and stuff. He made this wonderful dragon thing. So when I, because I was trophy chair and stuff, they wanted to do a special trophy for him. I said, well, how about this? It's like, you know, this, and this is kind of like two worlds coming together perfectly. So what happened was it's like at the time I was, uh, he did this trophy, Back in '84, I was working at a um, uh, a lumber yard. I was the accountant for the lumber yard. You know, it was uh, Bay Central Lumber. You know, and that's another story. Uh, working there, anyway. Um, uh, we, you know, they didn't have a lot of hardwood. Most of the wood they had was just regular wood. I don't know what it's called, but it's like it's not hardwood. But they did have selected pieces of hardwood and stuff. And I went out and picked a piece of hardwood. And then we, I took it home and, uh, you know, basically the club commissioned him to do this, uh, uh, this plaque. So he made the, he um, uh, carved the, you know, so we, we, I took it home and he, you know, over, I don't know how long it took him, maybe a month or something to carve the head and everything and, and including the plaque and everything. This is his handy heart artwork, you know, it's like, and actually, you know, the interesting thing, you know, so there's two worlds coming together, it's like uh, with, with it. And uh, it was actually, um, uh, the, uh, the people that got this were, if, if you won at the specialty, the annual specialty, uh, you, if you won the, uh, I think it was called Best of Opposite Sex, that's, that's it. then, you know, that's, uh, you know, it's like usually a male dog would win Best, uh, best uh, a Breed, and then they had Best of Opposite Sex, and so it's like they, that's who this plaque went to, and it has all the names and stuff, and actually there's a secondary uh, one they added which somebody else must have done this one it's like uh, uh robert best of opposite. yeah this one says best of opposite sex okay. and and this is it and then they just recently retired it like uh two or three years ago i guess it was and it's like so um anyway um the thing is is that i um actually it's got some stuff information on the back but um it's, uh, uh, they, um, you know, the last time I saw, you know, I became inactive in the club. I, I stayed a member of the club for like a long time, um, for all these years, actually. It's like, the funny thing is, is like, it's the longest relationship I've had with anything, membership of anything. I joined in 78 and I'm still a member. <laughs> and anyway, it's like, and I think there's maybe only one or two people that have been there that are still alive that are still members that, you know, have been a member longer than me because I think they founded the group in 1974. Anyway, um, so so they, um, what was I gonna say about it? Uh, the, um, so uh, t uh, uh, Ken uh, uh, carved this, you know, it's like he carved this and, uh, and actually what's interesting on the back is it's like you can see uh, you know his name and stuff because I didn't know you know this this nailed it down to when he uh, made it and everything um, uh, and uh, like I was going to say um, I hadn't seen this in like years many many years because I wasn't going I was inactive and I wasn't going to specialty so I probably hadn't seen this since like say 1987 or 88 or something you know it's like I didn't see it I knew it was still around and everything and I asked um, I asked the, the, the current president um, uh, if he, you know, if he could um, uh, 
find out where it was at. I just wanted a picture. I just told him, it's like, you know what? I want a picture of this, um, you know, because he made it. I really would appreciate it because I didn't have any pictures of it, you know, and it bothered me that I didn't have a picture. Well, and anyway, the um, I'd been going on and off to the, uh, at least to the, uh, in re more recent years, going to the Christmas party that they have, the annual Christmas party. And uh, before that, so he said, it's like, I'll hunt around and see if I, you know, can find out who has it and stuff. Because it, 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 it stayed with the woman that it retired with, you know, who, you know, who won it last. So, and I guess she was more than okay with giving it up, you know, it's like, because I didn't ask for it. I never asked for it or anything. And um, I just thought this was great, you know, that they, they you know, when I went to the Christmas party this last year, um, they, they made a point of having it there for me, you know, because I started making inquiries, you know, months before that about it and they you know when she they found it it's like you know it's like you could have it so it's like so it's like i got it back you know so it's like it was really good to see it it was um because i hadn't seen it in so many years and i i kind of vaguely remember that he he signed it and it says uh it's guy's name ken ten Eich, and 10 uh october you know 1084 which is october 1984 and then the subsequent thing and then what's uh, the other thing that's neat about this this particular thing is they did there was a member called uh, by the name of harlan yakey you know who he was like he was an original member i think they uh him and his wife um joined like a year or two after i did you know they got a movie a, a year or two after i did so anyway they did this <laughs> magnificent box huge box you know he built th built this box for it and uh you know, it's like, so it fits, fits in there, you know, with the other thing. And, you know, he did this a few years back. Uh, be, uh, he passed away, but he did this wonderful box, you know, made this great big, <laughs> very sturdy box to keep it in. And it's got foam in it. <laughs> and so I just, you know, and it says at the top, there's a uh, plaque at the top of, of the boxes, but best opposite sex. So, um, you know, and it's like, so it was given and... A lot of people have handled this over the years for many years you know it's like uh 90 is there's 98 94 96, 93 91 um uh it's like yeah it's like robert stevens and true steve true stevens um yeah so anyway that's the story about that it's like i just thought it was a fascinating thing